What's up folks, I hope you're doing well and today I wanted to add a little bit more action in my videos. I realized that all the videos of last week were in my home office sitting on my chair and not moving a lot. So today let's talk about my love for martial arts. But this video is not just about that. I'm not about to do any demonstrations. I'm not an expert. I'm a Kyokushin orange belt. This is the first belt after the white one. So I'm not here to impress anybody. I just want to throw a few kicks because I want to change my YouTube banner and add more color to it and I want to maybe find a very nice kick so I could cut around myself and put myself kicking just beside my logo or something like that. But let's go back to my love of martial arts. When did that started? Well, it started when I was a kid. I grew up watching a lot of Jackie Chan movies, Bruce Lee, Jean-Claude Van Damme. Of course, I talked about Power Rangers a lot and what are they doing all the time? They are fighting. Oh yeah, and I almost forgot the three ninjas, you know, those three little brothers kicking some adults ass. So yeah, I grew up wanting to be like them. The only thing is I never really did any martial art as a kid or a teenager. I tried once and I, I don't remember exactly why I stopped, but knowing myself at that time, it was probably because I didn't like the discipline. All right, before I continue with all the martial arts that I've tried over the years, let's try to throw a few kicks and Hopefully one will be very good looking and I'll be able to use it on my banner. Alright, when I was around 16 years old, I tried for about 6 months Wing Chun, which is a Chinese martial art. It's what Bruce Lee learned as a kid before he created his Jeet Kune Do. It's also what Ip Man is doing if you have watched any of the Ip Man movies with Donnie Yen. So I tried this for about 6 months. I enjoyed it. I didn't like the lack of practical fights. Then, maybe a year later, I found a place in Montreal where I tried Jeet Kune Do. Um, for many reasons, it didn't last long. I don't live downtown in Montreal and with my job and everything, it quickly became hard to attend every classes. And then in 2017, I started Kyokushin. I obtained my first belt, the orange belt. And just so you know, in case you are wondering how you obtain a new belt, well, there's a very good physical training first, the day of your passage, and, and then, and I hope it's passage in English, but anyway, the day that you want to earn your new belt, after your physical training, you have to show that you know the knowledge and the kata. So like in order to obtain my orange belt, uh, there's some specific kata that I needed to know. And then at the end, you have to fight two people to obtain your orange belt. So I fought a blue belt. <laughs> and a green belt. And then when I'll be able to obtain my blue belt, probably near next fall, I'll have to, well, in theory, I have to fight three people. Uh, if I remember correctly, but because of the virus, I don't know how that will go. Uh, but yeah, this is basically yeah physical training. You have to prove that you have yet the knowledge, and then there are some fights. So when I started Kyokushin, well, first it's because it's near where I live, so this is already something very good. And uh, I knew that Kyokushin was focusing a lot on real fights. So yes, you have the art from the martial art you learn a lot of kata and you learn the, the knowledge but normally at pretty much every class you fight people and that's what I like because if you never fight for real and something happens in real life and you have to fight you don't know how you react when you get hit or when you hit people so uh, that's why I love Kyokushin. Alright 
Now let's try these for fun. I'm a rookie. It's pretty much the first time I'm, that I'm using them. So again, I'm not here to show off because I have nothing to show off. I don't really want to be like uh, what they call a nunchaku juggler. It's not for uh, the art and you know to be very grandiose. It's more for the practical side of fighting with nunchaku. And I saw a video he teaches the basic movements that you have to do in order to get used to it and normally you have to do like 50 to 100 reps of every movement with every arm so let's try a few of those All right, even if I'm a beginner, I feel good with those. I have practiced a lot and especially my left arm doesn't want to know shit about doing the right moves, but we'll get to it. So here we are. My plan is to get my black belt in a few years in Kyokushin. Now I used to do the opposite in my life. Like pretty much everybody, I would build my whole life around my job. So my job was first and then you pick your activities on the weekends and on the nights around your work schedule but now I'm gonna do the opposite uh, everything will have to work with my training schedule so my goal is to get my black belt get better with the nunchaku and eventually when I can afford it with money and time I would really love as well to start Brazilian Jiu Jitsu because it's one of the most effective martial art there is pretty much everyone in UFC needs to do it I was listening to Joe Rogan and uh, some of his guests recently he was talking about the fact that you know even if you know karate or kung fu or whatever people still have the option to run away but if someone goes close to you and grabs you knowing brazilian jiu-jitsu will be one of the best things that you'll be able to use to defend so there you go folks i wanted this video to be a little bit different more active i hope you enjoyed i have a movie review coming out tomorrow and starting next week it's gonna be more about action movies and martial art movies and let's hope that one of my kicks was great good looking so i can use it on this thumbnail and on my banner on that don't forget to like and subscribe and see you next time